Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We want to thank you for your support and thanks for tuning in. In today's video, we're going to be looking at study tips that match your learning style. We're going to start with the visual learner. So here are four tips that you can use to study as a visual learner. Definitely using graphic organizers, which would include your charts and diagrams and, you know, stuff like that, annotated uh, drawings. Second thing that you can do, you can look at uh, highlighting your information, key concepts with different colors. You can also try to redraw what you would have remembered without looking back on your notes. Just try to put that on paper. And lastly, try to create special symbols for certain things so once you look at that symbol you know exactly what it is talking about when you are studying move on now to the auditory learner it is important that you hear something that's how you're going to process this information so what you need to do is to record yourselves you know while you're studying reading your notes or something whatever you have written down try to re record yourself and listen, play it back. So it's record and play back. When you do that, it helps you to retain it. Also, you can have discussion with other auditory learners or just engage in a conversation about the topic that you are studying. That way, once you hear the discussions and you're in an exam or you have an assignment to do, it replays right back in your memory. So those are a few tips that you can think on. As it relates to a kinesthetic learner, you need to create something, make models or manipulate something. Sometimes a little bit of visual can pop over into the kinesthetic learner because some topics are so abstract, it is very difficult for you to get a hold of it, literally get a hold of it, manipulate it. So you can find videos that will help you to make models we and we can explore some of those things based on the topics that we're going to be talking about so you can create those models for yourself you can observe other persons put your whole self into it whatever topic you're learning for example if you're learning about digestion you become that entire model as a human being because you live this every day you are digesting food every day so Use your whole body as an experience for your own learning. That helps as well as a kinesthetic learner. And then when we talk about the reading, writing learner, right? The reading, writing learner, you are very great at writing beautiful essays. That's, you know, lots of eloquent words and all of those beautiful things that you are great at. So every single thing that you would have been taught in class or whatever you have been given assignment you have been given graphics may be involved diagrams charts all of those things may be involved in the information you're provided with you are so great at putting those things on paper using the essay format you are good at that so you can choose to pull from pull key concepts from diagrams and then you can place that now in paragraph format or a point format however best you want to do so in writing that's your strength the more you write the more you remember and just to end on a powerful note the dullest pencil is better than the sharpest brain always write no matter what learning style you have writing is a great tool for memory thank you guys for watching like share comment and subscribe you may also share with us comments about you know how you how you learn best how you study best and then we can take it from there. Have a wonderful time, guys.